Hey everybody, glad you've come back for another one of our mini messages, or maybe this is your first time watching one of our mini messages. If so, there's 70 something of them for you to go back and catch up on. So uh, get busy. But, you know, seriously, we're back in Genesis chapter 22 and we're going to stay in verse 3. I think this is our third day on verse 3. So we'll finish it today, but I want to look at the last little part of this verse again um, today as it talks about he set out for the place God had told him about. It's the last phrase in verse 3. Now, as I look at that and I understand that, the place God told him about, where was he headed? So, we know from Scripture, by some cross-referencing, this place that he's going is called the mountain of God. And then you fast forward and you look in the book of Chronicles, the mountains of Moriah or Mount Moriah itself is referred to as the mountain of the Lord. Now the interesting thing in this is this is where the temple was built. The mountains of Moriah also is where we would find Mount Calvary. This is where Jerusalem is located. That's what's happening here. So God sends him to a very specific place. And now, depending on the exact you know, coordinates, location, down to the actual foot, we don't know. But we know that the mountains of Moriah is where the temple was built, the city of Jerusalem is, and Calvary is located. So there's kind of two schools of thought here as you look at this. One is that he was taken to the place where the temple would actually be constructed. And that's where this sacrifice would be made, when God would actually stop Abraham and not allow him to continue and actually follow through with the sacrifice, and he would provide the ram for him. So perhaps it was right at the place of the temple. Some people have said it would have been where the the actual um, place of sacrifice was. Some people have said it was on the spot where the Holy of Holies is. The other side is that it was in the same general area, but it was actually on Calvary, which is where Christ was crucified, that that was the spot. So that makes the most sense to me, is that it was in the location of Calvary. Because what's happening here is not only is Abraham's faith being tested and revealed, not only is God's faithfulness being revealed and He's going to provide for um, the sacrifice and He's going to say, stop, I've got something else over here, you've withheld nothing from me. I think that this passage is also a beautiful picture of the sacrifice of Christ. Abraham and Isaac here are giving us a picture of the Father sacrificing the Son for the sins of the world. Isaac in this symbolically represents Christ, and Abraham represents the Father and the sacrifice that's taking place. For me, that's, you know, can I, can I say 100% that's exactly what's happening? No, I, I really can't. But for me, that's the thing that makes the most sense when I look at the totality of the story and the location that we're going to because um, Calvary was located and would have been considered a part of, um, you know, Mount Moriah or the mountains of Moriah there in the central highlands of Israel where Jerusalem is located. The symbolism that's running through Genesis takes us all the way to the cross. God had a plan right there, and this is a picture of it. I hope that encourages you to know that your God has provided for you and planned for your salvation from the moment the world was created. The plan was already in place. Your God loves you, and you can trust in that. We'll see you guys again soon. Have a good day.